Dear friends, I'm delighted to join the annual Kampa Regional Forum this afternoon and hope you and your families are staying safe at these unprecedented times. For many years, the forum provided participants with a great opportunity to engage with prominent scholars and leaders in the Kamka region. This year will not be different. I'm sure that today's discussions in the virtual format will be of the same quality that Kamka is proud of. Kamka 2020 will provide first-hand hand insight of the region's entrepreneurship spotlights, post-COVID development, inter-regional trade and growth potential, digital transformation and other important issues. Let me highlight some of them. Over the past few months, the international community has faced one of the most challenging times in the modern history, the COVID-19. And Central Asia was not exception. But I am delighted to say that thanks to coordinated efforts and good cooperation, Central Asian countries continue success successfully battling the COVID-19 pandemic and its aftermath. As the culture of sharing is deeply embedded in our society, Kazakhstan has been always active when it comes to provide aid to those in need. Committed to safety and security in Central Asia, Kazakhstan provided humanitarian assistance to its two neighbors, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, thus contributing to regional food security. We are also, also thankful to the US government for the support it has provided Kazakhstan and the region to fight the pandemic, including the generous USAID donation of protective equipment for frontline workers, as well as exchange of information and expertise with the office of the CDC in Almaty. We hope that this partnership continue beyond the peak of the pandemic and America maintains a high level of engagement with the region in line with the US strategy in Central Asia launched in the beginning of this year. Kazakhstan fully supports the US efforts in the region, including the C5 plus one and TIFA formats, and remains a strong partner in the US efforts to stabilize Afghanistan. Despite the global lockdown and tough quarantine measures undertaken by the international community, the government of Kazakhstan is actively implementing political reforms aimed at further democratization and strengthening the dialogue between society and government. The reforms underway in Kazakhstan are of irreversible and evolutionary nature, where the rule of law is the country's top priority. President Tokayev continues to pursue the long-term vision for Kazakhstan's bright future and economic growth of the country. This development is taking place amidst the two important milestones, the 80th anniversary of the nation's founding father, First President Yelbasa Nursultan Nazarbayev, who devoted three decades to serving his country and building modern-day Kazakhstan, and one-year anniversary of Kasim Jamal Tokayev's presidency. Dear friends, I hope today's stimulating discussions will provide you all with an excellent opportunity to learn more about Kazakhstan and the region overall. We look forward to Kamka 2021 Regional Forum in Almaty next year, and I would like to thank you for your attention.